In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to use floating windows on a Chromebook so that you can have one app in a small box floating on top of every other app. This can be really handy for multitasking. All you need to do is open the app you want to put into the floating window. It can really be any app you want. Timmy's going with the calculator app and it's as an example, but you can use any app that you want to put into a little window. And now, once you've got the app here, you'll need to come up to these three icons in the top right hand corner of the app and hover your mouse over the rectangle icon in the middle. So don't click on it because that would just make the app full screen. Just hover your mouse over it like this. And now you'll have these three options, four options in this menu here. And you need to click float this option. And now this app or this window will be floating in the bottom right hand corner on top of all the other windows. So you can see it right down here. It's made it this shape and size and it's put it down in here. And because it's floating, as long as it's floating, no other window can cover it. So if we go ahead and perhaps open Google Chrome or any other app like that, You'll see we're actually in Google Chrome now, so we can actually use Google Chrome, but Google Chrome is underneath this calculator app because the calculator app is floating above everything. So we could also open the files app as well or any other app. And you'll see the files app is currently overlapping the Google Chrome app, but it's underneath the calculator app. And if we were to click on Google Chrome, Google Chrome will cover the Files app because that's how Windows normally work. But as you'll see, Google Chrome is still underneath the Calculator app. And now you can use any of these apps you want and you'll just be able to flick back to the Calculator app whenever you need to. So we could go to a website in Google Chrome like this, but we can still see everything in the Calculator app and we can start doing equations or doing whatever you do in the calculator app while it's floating above Google Chrome or any other app like that. And you can also move the floating app around if you want and resize it as much as you want, just like normal. So if you wanted to move it, you would just click on this top strip here like you normally would. So we'll click and we'll drag it over here. So we can drag it to the middle if we wanted to and it's still floating above all the other windows. Or we could drag it up here to this corner and you can change the size of it just like a normal window by clicking and dragging on one of the edges of the app and it'll make it even bigger. And we could drag the bottom edge to make that bigger. So you can move it around and resize it as much as you want just like any other window on your Chromebook. But because this one is floating, it will be above all the other windows. So you probably don't want to make it this big because now we can't really see Google Chrome. But if you need the app to be a bit bigger to see what you're doing, or you want it on the other side of the screen or something, you can do that quite easily. And then when you're done and you no longer want it to be floating, all you need to do is come back up to the three icons in the top right hand corner of the window. And now that rectangle icon will have an arrow pointing out of it. And that means it will unfloat it. So we can just click that icon. And now it's no longer floating. It's just the regular app. So if we click on Chrome or something like that, it will now come on top of the app because it's just a regular window, not a floating window. And that's all there is to it. It's not necessarily the perfect feature for everything. In some circumstances, you might find it a bit annoying that it covers some of your other windows or some apps or websites in Google Chrome might look a bit weird when you put them into a smaller window like you normally have with a floating app. So as you can see, the Tech Time with Timmy website resizes itself pretty well, but some websites might not work as well. 
and you don't have all of your extensions and things in Google Chrome. So it can be a bit weird like that sometimes, but for a lot of uses, it can be really handy. If you have a specific use case for floating windows that you find really helpful, maybe share it in the comments and other people might find it helpful too. But that's all there is to this video, so hopefully you found it helpful, or if floating windows doesn't seem right for you, you might want to try using a split screen instead, so that you can have multiple windows on the screen at the same time without anything being covered up. And Timmy has a different video about that here.